Hey, 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 Crips here and welcome. Wow, am I excited today. Today is the release of Corral Video Studio Pro X7. That's right, if you are a subscriber or you're an owner of a previous version, you may have got an email to say that you are able to purchase it today. Worldwide launch is March the 5th, but like I said, if you're a previous owner, you can actually get it today. So what is so excited about this, or what's so great about this one, I was actually part of the beta program. No, no, beta, beta, that's right. So I'm pretty excited about it personally because I was helping them develop the bugs and give some input, and that's really cool. And why am I particularly excited about this version is because it now comes in 64-bit. Calm down, calm down. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, 64 bit, that's really good news. Especially everything is now Ultra HD. You're going to need that processing power because 32 bit, you're limited to 3.25 gigabytes. And in 64, you virtually have unlimited. You know, you've got 16 exabyte, and that translates to 16 billion gigabytes of RAM. All right, let's, uh, let's go through what version 7 has to offer and let's see if it's all that all that it's going to, you know, it's a 64, great, but what else does it have to offer? Well, okay, first thing I noticed when I got it was that the layout with Video Studio and PaintShop Pro now is the same. Let's look at this. You know, you've got the same color scheme, you've got the tabs in the middle, everything, the look, the feel is the same as Video Studio, and that's really good because the two programs work so well hand in hand. You can do something in PaintShop Pro and it automatically launches it in Video Studio, and anyhow, I'll, later on I'll show you how all that works and it's really cool. Secondly, what I noticed is the colors. Uh, if you have a look in my main tracks and all that, you will see that they now gave, gave each track a different color. So, you know, uh, light green, darker green, blue. And if I move this up, I'm not sure if it'll let me do this one. Mm, not really. All right, if I, uh, if let's, sorry about this. I should prepare more, shouldn't I? I'm going to grab a, an audio track because I want to show you something that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's it. Don't work for me then. See if I can. Oh, here we go. Now watch this. Now it's a purple track. So you've got your audio track and you've got your music track. So you're not going to be confused like, oh, what's what? And if I go into my wave format, this is kind of neat. It's black. It just really dominates you. It stands out because I used to like, ah, but now it really stands out. I'm not too keen with the purple, but the blue, you know, yeah, that, that works nice. That works nice. And I'm, I'm going to throw that one away and, yeah, I don't need that anymore. All right, let's keep moving. So uh, now another feature they added, which was kind of cool, they had it in version 2, I believe, and now they've added it back in, and that's what they call Fast Flick. So let's have a look at Fast Flick. So what is it? It's a wizard. It basically puts together a video for you within, you know, two, three minutes, and you can upload it to your favorite uh, YouTube, Vimeo, uh, whatever you use, Instagram. And, and it's especially good for people who are just starting to, to get into the editing and they just don't know where to begin. And this is really great. You just pick a template, you, you go to step two, you load all your photos, your videos in, and just share. And it's that simple. And you know, and you know me, I will tell you how to use this. And it's so easy that even I can use it. Isn't that telling you something? So <laughs> let's go back. All right, what else we got here? All right, so... Being 64, obviously they geared everything towards working with Ultra HD 4K. So if I go into the graphics tab, I've got two new options here. I've got the color pattern, so that's pretty cool. And I've also got now a background. So they gave me a little library of backgrounds. Well, gave me, gave everybody, I guess. So you can look at all these really cool backgrounds that they give you. Ultra HD 4K, and that's, and that's cool. So that's some pretty cool effects in there. All right, so again, it's another new feature they've got, and that's really nice to know because more is always better. Okay, let's keep going. So the help menu, that's a new feature as well. If you, You've got the drop-down here, and this is pretty unique. Messages, here they will talk to you directly. They can actually tell you, hey, there's an update coming, like, uh, you know, so you can do this, or there's new templates coming, which is great. You can access your PDF, and you've got video tutorials now. I'm pretty excited about the video tutorials. Uh, it's in the, the, the Discovery Center. And you know what? They had to call on, you know, the, the, the Corral video expert. Uh, but he was busy, so they called me. So, uh, yep, that's right. Now, if you go to their channel, 
and you want to see the videos on how to use their software, you're going to hear my sweet voice. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Now, this is something I'm really excited about as well. So now it tells you the, the project setting here, 1920 by 1080. If I go into settings, project settings, look at this. They're going to give us a huge range of templates to work with. Drop down menu, advanced video coding, high definition. Let's click on that. Look at that. They give me a whole bunch of projects, presets for me. Uh, and I still have the option of editing each preset. Look at this. You know, I can do so much with the compression rate. Go straight in here. Look at that. It's pretty cool. So uh, mobile is probably the most, you know, I think that's one we're going to use the most because it's an MP4. It gives me the properties here, and that's really great. And this works really well with the share tab now because if I go into the share tab, <gasps> look at that. They, they gave you a whole new page just to them, just to the share page, and it's really nice and easily laid out you got different formats you got the usual do i want to upload it to youtube so i can go to web am i making a dvd or am i doing a 3d movie but if i uh, toggle through the options i get profile so here we go mpeg form profiles look at this now i've got a whole bunch to choose from now let's just no, 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 go from 1287 20 30p and it tells me the properties but what happens if I did 1920 by 1080? Now I've got to dick around looking for this. No, 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 no. Just go up here. Look at this. Now I'm matching it to my project settings. So I no longer have to sit and think about it. And that's, and that's a pretty handy little feature. Brief description here. That's always handy. What does this do? Well, it tells me it's great for YouTube. Great, good. All right, let's keep moving. By the way, this is kind of hidden. If you scroll down, you'll see the start button. <laughs> First time I got it, I was like, how, how, how do I do this? And by accident, I scrolled down. Good. All right. Uh, it tells you a little bit more information, how much uh, space you have on your hard drive. And this is nice. The estimated output file. So whatever you, when, it, when you finish your project, you now know how much memory it's going to use. And that's good, especially if you're working in AVI format and you put a one minute clip and you have a look and it's 500 gigabytes, you know, like, all right, that's not going to work. <laughs> let's go back into the edit. Okay, let's do something different. This is, this is neat as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab this one here. Okay, now this might be a different format or a different size file to the rest of my project. So now what do I do? Well, fear not. Look at this. Double click. I go into edit. I now have resampling option here. Drop down menu. Keep aspect ratio. Keep aspect ratio. No letterbox. And fit to project size. So I can choose now. If I drop a photo in it and I've got pillar boxing or letterboxing, I can simply just go nah, fit the project size. And bam, it does. It fits the project size. So that's, that's really nice to know. And I think I just about covered everything uh, that needs to be covered because everything else obviously is the same. I still got my uh, motion tracking features, uh, uh, capture options here. But now also, uh, see, I forgot, capture options also dedicated to the very own page. So it's got a huge window here to work with. And that's always handy to have, especially if you're like me, blind as a bat. So there you go, my friends, Video Studio Pro X7, 64-bit. I'm, I'm pretty sure I probably left out a couple of things that I should tell you about this new, the new version. But I'm telling you, at 64, that should just sell on its own. Yeah, at the price and at 64, it's crazy. And as always, thanks for watching.